It's called the Citadel and within stone walls it plans to show a fully sustainable community with enough room for 7,000 people to live. They invite anyone looking to live under less government control and more personal freedom. The group is planning to build in Benoa County, and that's left many people there, including the sheriff, very concerned. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Collector. And I'm Stephanie Vigil. We sent our reporter, North Idaho reporter Dylan Woolenhouse, to further investigate this story. He's live right now. Dylan, this plan of Fortress City is pretty complex. Well, yeah, it is, Dan, and good evening tonight. Yeah, you, like you mentioned, the plan is pretty elaborate, and the people that are involved are fairly elusive, and this plan to build the Citadel is on the minds of many in Benoa County. Not long after newly elected Benoa County Sheriff Dave Resser took office, he worked to move the department forward. My first reaction. But soon after, he learned of something that set him back in his chair a bit. Well, very, yeah, uh, 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 very surprised. What came as a shock may look to some like blueprints from medieval times. A guarded community with stone walls and all the amenities. Community armory, medical center, uh, boarding schools. Uh, Firearm ranges, banks, its own currency. Underground shelter, a stockade jail. Not to mention, every able-bodied patriot shall maintain an AR-15 and 1,000 rounds of ammunition. It's all meant for three to 7,000 people said to be liberty-driven patriots to call home. And it's proposed right in Benoa County. As it stands right now, I see a lot of major concerns, especially without being... Uh, uh, approached and talked to. Named the Citadel, what seems to be a very real proposal for North Idaho according to the website, it advocates for anyone who seeks an unobstructed freedom from the federal government to live within its walls. For a fee of $208 and if you answer a few questions you can apply to become a citizen. It says on the website already 200 people have applied. Its only affiliation is with Three Arms, a company incorporated in Idaho, but has a listed address on the East Coast. Our messages to an information email on the site were not returned. Uh, even though I believe in, in what they're saying, limited government, uh, maximum freedom for the, for the people, I've got some, some big red flags that, that uh, I would have to have answered. An idea, the site says, started from the Patriot blogosphere in 2012. A big plan, no doubt, with questions easy to raise, but answers, for now, hard to come by. Now, Benoit County officials tell me that they have had no contact with anyone involved with this project, so they really don't know how real this proposal really is. Back to you guys. Well, Dylan, before you go, has anyone actually purchased any land for this plan to move forward? Yeah, Dan, that's actually a good question. Yeah, someone a while back purchased 20 acres of land in the northern part of the county, supposedly affiliated with this project, but the sheriff says that that land is next to some tribal land, so any plans to expand and build what is proposed there, he says, would be a tough thing to do. All right, good enough. Thank you, Dylan Wollenhouse reporting live. If you'd like more information about the group planning to build this so-called fortress city, head to online to khq.com and click on the find it bar. We've linked the group's website.